Hello and welcome to the second day of our online holiday Bible club. How exciting! My name is Annetta and a special welcome to you. This is your first time joining with us. Uh, you can go on the website and catch up on what we got up to yesterday. We had lots of fun when Jonah tried to run away from God, got into a ship, there's a massive storm and then this massive sea creature swam up to him. But we don't know what happened next. We've come at the right time to find out. We've got a fun packed morning ready for you guys. We're going to start off with our warm up routine with our fitness crew and get our hearts pumping before we start the day. It's going to be so much fun. We're going to see what happened to Jonah next. We're going to catch up with our pirates. Will they ever find a treasure that they're really looking for? It's a question to look out for. And um, we'll follow up with some fun craft ideas for you and a song to finish. Uh, but before I let you go with the fitness crew, here's a question for you How do pirates like to cook? It's on a barbecue. Morning everyone. So before we start today, we've got to be nice and warm. So we're going to have a quick little workout for about two minutes or so. So I want you guys to try it as hard as you can. So everyone get up on your feet and let's do this. Put the music on. Right, we're going to start with a little jog. Get that heartbeat going faster. Bit faster now, bit faster. Come on, you're seeing in the back, sitting on the floor. Come on, get up. Right, jumping jacks. We'll do about 20. Woo! Right now, touch the toes. Touch the sky. Make sure you're going as far down as you can to so control the pulling muscles right to the side. I hope you can all start to feel warm. Right, we're going to do the upper body now. So I want you to roll your arms as fast as you can. Pretend you're a boxer. No, I don't. Go on as fast as you can. Right, running on the spot. Starting to sweat a little bit now. Nice and quick, as fast as you can. As fast as you can. Right, jumping jacks as quick as you can. Come on, 10 more. Oh. Right, we're nice and warmed up now, hopefully. So we're not gonna pull any muscles or damage any muscles. I think we're ready for today. Do you know what squid lives? I do not understand why the captain is always so mopey. She's so grumpy, she complains. Do you know what? This is lovely. I think it must be a captain thing. Do you remember that one we had last year? Oh, he was awful. He was so, so bossy. <laughs> yeah, but this captain especially, what I think is just that basically... Well, it's a storm about, isn't it? Oh, my tea! Morning, pirates! Wait, why are you... What? What is going on? Why are you so drenched? You, you're still muted? Oh. Um, uh, How's that? Is that better? Yes. <laughs> so, um, why are you so wet? Well, basically, we've literally just come out, had our cups of tea. The next thing you know, there's this massive wave of water. Massive. There's a massive storm. We're absolutely soaked, Mate, both of us. Yes. He's almost as wet as me now. It's, a, it's very cold, Captain. But then one minute, it was... Whoa, and it just stopped. It's crazy. Oh, I see. Well, anyway, I expect your mission is going well. Yeah. So, we are sending you into a covert mission to interview Jonah. Ooh! Ooh. Covert? You know what that means, mate? We're moving up the ranks. Yeah. Wait, wait. 
Didn't you say you saw some big fish yesterday? Or what, out on the port side? Yeah, it was um, it's more like a big fish. I call it more like a whale. And then, and then, oh, Jonah was like, Jonah that, bobbing in front, weren't he? That was it, because one minute he was there, Captain. Yeah. He was right here. And then, and then he was gone. Yeah. Well strange. Yeah, really strange. Oh. Really, really strange. Well, pirates, I, uh, I have some news for you. Okay. Uh, you're both going into the belly of the fish, so, uh, Good luck. <laughs> Do not fail me. Uh, I, okay, Captain. Cheers for the news. I think she did. She, she just say inside the, the fish. Yeah, not the outside. The inside. I mean that. What she wants us to go on the inside of that. Let me get this right. That big fish. What? The big fish. Little fish. Oh, I like where this is going. Cardboard box, big fish, little fish, cardboard box. Hey! Big fish, little fish, cardboard box. Big fish, little fish, cardboard box. Yeah, I'm box. still here, pirate. Sorry, Captain. Bye, bye. Big fish, little fish, cardboard box. 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 Well, good morning, Holiday Bible Kids. I hope you're having a great time today. I hope you're really enjoying spending time with us, learning about God. And enjoying some of the activities. Now we're learning about Jonah at the moment and the story of Jonah in the Bible and yesterday was a bit of a tough day for Jonah. You know he he was in a bit of a tough spot. Now I wonder if we can remind ourselves who Jonah was and, and what his job was. Now Jonah was a prophet and a prophet is someone special, someone who God appoints to tell the people about him and also to tell the people about things that God wants them to do and that was what the job that Jonah got yesterday his job was to go to the people of Nineveh and tell them that God wasn't happy and that he wanted them to change now a question for you did Jonah do what God wanted no, you see, this is the problem Jonah's in. He didn't want to do it. He didn't think it was a... Oh, he didn't... I don't know what he was thinking. But he decided he was not going to do it and he was going to run away from God. Do you think he could run away from God? Do you think he ran away from God? No. God can find him anywhere. God can find you and me anywhere. And at the end of day one we find that Jonah was on a ship with some sailors and a big storm happened and everyone was afraid and in the end the sailors threw Jonah overboard and then all of a sudden a big fish came and swallowed Jonah whole now we begin with day two and Jonah is on the naughty step He's in the belly of the whale. He's in there being able to think about the things he did wrong and should he have listened to God and he's very sorry for it. And he starts to talk to God. He starts to pray to God and he says to God, I'm really sorry I didn't listen to you. I'm really sorry I ran away. Um, and he said, I, I, I'm really sorry I will do what you want me to do. Alright? I, I know I've done wrong. And I will do right. The right thing. And this is what happens when you and I sometimes do the wrong thing. We get sent to the naughty step. And we have a chance to think about what we did wrong. Realise we've done something wrong. And then say sorry to the person that we may have done it. And this is what Jonah did. This is what Jonah did when he was in the whale. He said sorry to God for what he had done. He promised God that he would do what he wanted to do. Now, Jonah's in the belly of a whale, in the sea, under the sea. I wonder if you think, do you think God could hear him all the way down there? Hear him when he prayed to him? Well, of course he could, because God can hear everything. God can hear all our prayers, 
wherever we are and he loves to hear us when we talk to him so it's a great thing to pray to God all right now God heard what Jonah said he was merciful to him and at the end of day two we find that Jonah is vomited back out of the fish onto a beach nice what if he's covered in seaweed and other bits of fish and blah, but he smells horrible but he's been thrown out of the fish and tomorrow we're going to learn exactly where Jonah is and what he's going to do so I hope you're with us tomorrow for day three hello are you ready to do some more craft excellent today we're going to make a pirate and we're going to make it out of a wooden spoon so if you've got one of the craft packs you've got this already in there if not perhaps you can find an old wooden spoon don't use one that mum uses in the kitchen but if you've got an old one you could perhaps use that um, or any other sort of stick it can be an ordinary stick so first thing we're going to do with our spoon is we're going to give it a hat and we're going to cut out the shape of a pirate hat I've drawn it on there look and then I'm just going to use my scissors again and if you need help again you can ask a grown-up if you're not very good with cutting because cutting can be quite tricky so if you need help get them to cut out your hat like that and then you've got your hat ready to stick on and we're going to have the, you've got a bit of a dip in the spoon or you've got a flat side and we're going to do it on the flat side is going to be our front because it makes things easier to stick to. So we're going to stick the hat on, probably at a bit of a funny angle. So I'm going to stick that on. So the thing I'm going to do is put some glue at the top of my spoon. Two lots, just to make sure it sticks. And then stick the hat on wherever. You can see it. There you go. Can you see mine? And then in the pack again, you've got some googly eyes. We like a pair of googly eyes, don't we? And we're going to stick those on underneath the hat on his face to make it look like his face. So then he's got his hat and his googly eyes. Now, if you want to, on your hat, you could decorate it. You could do a little pattern on it. Um, I'm just going to do a very quick uh, cross and then I'm going to make it look like some bones because they sometimes they're call skull and crossbones but I can't draw a skull so I'm just going to draw the bones bit so we're just going to draw that on there any colour you like if you've got a white pencil or a pen that's fine and then just make those a bit thicker those lines so you can decorate but you could put anything you like on it it's up to you makes him look a little bit more piloty. Now one thing I didn't tell you at the beginning, you're going to need is some pens. You can always pause this if you haven't got them. I've just got some felt pens, any colours, it's up to you what you use. I've just got a black one and a red one because I'm just going to give him a little nose. Like that. And then I'm going to give him, with the red one, smiley mouth I'm gonna make mine a happy pirate there you go smiley mouth and then I think if he's on a pirate ship and he hasn't looked after himself perhaps they don't wash very often pirates I don't know I think he's called stinky Pete or something and I'm gonna give him a bit of a, a bit of stubble like that make him look a bit piratey you could always give him a bit of hair under his under his hat Hair, a bit of beard, makes him a bit more piratey. There you go. So that's my one, just to make him look a bit more piratey. But it's up to you. You can do it. You can make him have an angry face or something if you like. So now, what I'm going to do is on the handle bit of the spoon, I'm going to colour a little bit of it red. That's going to be his top, a bit like mine. And then the bottom bit I'm going to colour black and that would be like his legs, trousers. So with your pen you can just colour this top bit, it doesn't matter. 
can be a bit raggedy because I think their clothes are usually a bit torn and raggedy when you see them, aren't they? Pirates usually have those raggedy arms and leg bits. So probably need to do a little bit more further down with red. That's going to be his top. I was really clever. I could have done stripes, but it probably would have taken too long and looked a bit messy. But if you've got time, you could maybe make stripy top. That would look really good. You're clever, cleverer than I am. So there you go, I've done that bit red. And then I'm just going to do that bottom bit. Oh, sorry, hold it there so you can see black. Obviously, I'm not taking my time over this because I want you to be able to do it and see it. It's a bit tricky doing it up in the air. But I'm not going to do it all the way around the back just so that it doesn't take too much time. But you can take your time and do it a bit better than I've done it, but that will do. So I've got red and black. And then you've got pipe cleaner. And these, no pink doesn't really go, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to make his arms. So I put it behind like that, can you see? And make one bit a little bit shorter. And I'm going to wind it round probably about three times and make him some arms. Ooh, now I'm getting covered in pen. Probably should have let it dry for a bit. You can do that with yours because you'll have more time than me. And there you go. Arr. What shall I call him? Blackbeard. That's a bit of a common name for a pirate, isn't it? But hopefully yours are going to be even more fabulous than this. I know they are because you're going to have more time to do it. So you could stick bits on his hat, you can put other bits on for his clothes. If you've got it, you could use some material or some card and paper and you could make him some clothes. You can make it better than mine, but if not, if you've just got pens, you can just colour it. Or you can leave him without. It's up to you. So, make a pirate and give him a name. Blackbeard or something along those lines. Happy crafting! Bye bye! We are now going to sing Be Bold, Be Strong. Be bold, be strong, for the Lord your God is with you. Be bold, be strong, for the Lord your God is with you. And I am not afraid, no, 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 and I am not dismayed, no, me, because I'm walking in faith and victory. Come on and walk in faith and victory. Be bold, be strong, for the Lord your God is with you. Be bold, be strong, for the Lord your God is with you. And I am not afraid, no, 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 and I am not dismayed, no, me, because I'm walking in faith and victory. Come on, I'm walking in faith and victory, for the Lord your God is with you. Oh, I think, look, 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 I think that's yeah. him. Go, go, go okay. talk to him, I'm standing here. Wait, are you, should they join a by any chance? You ask me. Who are you two? Well, I'm, I'm Fish Bucket and the, the bloke thrown up is um, his squid lips. We were sent by a captain to come and find you and ask you, like, what, what's going on? Oh, yeah. Wait a second. How did you guys get in there? Well, it's a bit of an awkward no, no, story. No, 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 no. We're not ever going to go there. We not? I'm going to tell you, extreme measures were taken. I'm never going to talk about it again, alright? That's why. Well, you can see we're a big fish. Yeah, why is that, by the way? Well, you see, God wanted me to go to this really, really bad place called Nineveh. Oh. But I did not want to go there. So you know what? Instead, I got on a boat, went the other way, mate. But God had a specific... Pacific? Specific. Oh, God had a specific plan for me he wanted me to tell the people of Nineveh that they would be destroyed if they did not listen to him oh, okay then um, so what are you going to do now then I'm going to do what God told me to do right well I suppose we better steer this thing to that terrible place then
Let's get going. The quicker, the better.